Which type of doctor slash specialty is best at treating PAD? So there's three specialties that treat PAD. Interventional cardiology, vascular surgery, and interventional radiology. Not all physicians in these specialties all treat PAD, but these are generally the three specialties that PAD proceduralists, physicians who perform the PAD revascularization procedure, come from. One isn't necessarily better than the other. I happen to be a radiologist, but I'm not partial to interventional radiologists. Physicians from all of these specialties, many physicians, have training in endovascular, minimally invasive procedures, including PAD, especially these days, newer graduates are getting trained in lots of advanced endovascular, minimally invasive procedures, including PAD. So all three of these specialties produce some really good, experienced, skilled PAD proceduralists. I would say 60% of the PAD treated in America is treated by interventional cardiologists probably 30% by vascular surgeons and 10% by interventional radiologists. Now that is not a statement to who's better or worse. It's um, basically on who sees the patients. Interventional cardiologists happen to have a lot of patients with atherosclerotic occlusive disease, CAD, PAD, carotids. So they just see more of it. Same thing with vascular surgeons. Interventional radiologists, they don't follow patients directly. Patients are referred to them. So they don't see as many patients. So that's the reason for this rough breakdown. Uh, but you can find excellent PAD procedures in all three of these specialties. Uh, indeed, our procedurals come from all three of the specialties and we're not partial to any one of them. The criteria that make a good PAD proceduralist, regardless of what specialty they're from, interventional cardiology, vascular surgery, or interventional radiology, are number one, they need to have the technical proficiency. They need to be able to perform appropriate, assertive, but safe revascularization procedures, particularly below the knee. You see above the knee, the arteries are quite large. The skill set to revascularize those is, skill requirement isn't that high. Below the knee is where the arteries start getting smaller. The anatomy starts getting more complicated. Four millimeters, three millimeters, two millimeters. It's more difficult. So below the knee revascularization is where the rubber meets the road. So you need to make sure that the procedurals have the technical proficiency to operate safely, to do the procedure safely below the knee. That's the number one criteria. Number two, they need to know when to be assertive and when to back off a little. Safety is critical, absolutely critical. And finally, the third characteristic we look for is excellent with people. They have to be excellent with patients, with staff, with referring physicians. They have to be nice people, like I think we are, uh, and I'm sure like our patients would like to see.